Hello everybody and welcome back to week three of our lesson series on Pasadoble with Tim. So hopefully you've been following along the last two weeks we've done. If not, definitely make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel so you're able to kind of find those videos easily so you can pick up from today. On the last video we worked on the progressive movement and we worked on the elevation changes. So of course there's elevation changes in a lot of the other movements too, but the goal for today is to work on the stationary movements. So we spoke last week about breathing in dancing and how we should try and coordinate arm styling with the movement. So for example, if I'm breathing in, then my arms lift as my ribcage expands. As I breathe out, my arms lower as I exhale. So what we're going to do today is begin with an action called the chasse kick. So last week we worked on the sides together, the chasses. So as a man, I'm going to begin this with my left foot so I'm in frame with my lady, so I will take my left foot and I will go side, together, side. Now in this action, the lady is going to create a beautiful shape. She can either point, kick, flick. The man, is, my response is to rotate through there, through the upper body, so I'm not moving my arm, I'm moving my body to allow the lady to extend her movement. Then I'm going to do a slip pivoting action, so chasse, again from the other side. So notice what happened there. I didn't try and rotate before I got my weight on the foot. I got my weight securely on the foot and then I developed the shape from there because I have a good foundation. Very important in this dance, we want to feel very grounded. So let's try that again. So we're gonna take the left foot and we're going to go side together, side. I'm gonna turn my body to the right and then I'm gonna, my right heel has come off the floor. I'm going to replace my right heel, and then aggressively turn my upper body to the left. As the lady shapes around me, same here, side, together, side. Now my body shapes to the left, and I shape back to the right. So, deliberately I'm doing this without a partner because I want you to see how my body is showing where my partner would be. Going back to week one, we spoke about the matador and the caping action through here. So if I was not dancing with this with a dance partner, but with a cape, you could see, clearly I would go side to get the side, and the cape would be here to this side of me to create space for the bull to go through. Then as I replace, now it switches to the other side. So just as we said, never directly in front of us. So notice when we did the chasse cape, we did the side together side. It's very important to understand that in many times, in all dances, our feet stop moving, but our body continues to move. So the difference, a lot of people ask me, well, what's the difference between timing and rhythm? So timing relates to what our feet do to the beat of the music. Whereas rhythm is what my body is doing to all the music all the melody. So for example, here on the chassis kick, I could go one and two, three, four, and. I could go one, two, three, four. So I can play with the timing, but notice my body continues to dance when my feet have stopped moving. So that's, that's the goal, that's what we're trying to accomplish. Exactly the same you would as if we were doing a rumba box. If I'm back to rumba box, I'm gonna go and. One and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four. So my body is continuing. So some people refer to that as polyrhythms. Polyrhythms meaning we have two different rhythms going on in the body here. One for my feet, and then what my body is dancing to the music. So very important to understand the difference there. And that really allows us to fill the music. Okay, so some of the characteristics of this dance, it has to be crisp, it has to be tight, it has to be grounded, and it has to be staccato. So if I take that same pattern, I dance it without those feelings, it's gonna look like side together side, and side together side. So you can kind of see what I'm doing to make that look very different, make it look very dynamic. It is crisp, it is grounded, it is staccato, and breathing through there. So, yeah, da, da, replace, as opposed to side together, side. So, it's 
everything is done on purpose. Everything has thought to it, actually. Remember, this is sometimes referred to as the dance of death. Unfortunately, either the matador or the bull is not going to have a happy ending in this dance, so that is why we want to make the movements on purpose, right? We don't want to come out on the wrong side of that. So, final action for today is what we call a Spanish line. So, a great example here, very kind of unique to this dance. So, if I dance this here, you're going to see I'm going to go forward, side, behind. So, we're almost in a press line action here. Then my body is going to expand up and over. And then I'm going to add the rotation through there, which then winds me up to repeat it going in the opposite direction. So here's my stationary movement, and here's my dancing through there. Notice how very rarely do I do straight arms in this dance. Think of the caping action, think of how we hold the cape, think of how I'm shaping my body, the rotational action. So these disco or kind of gymnastic arms do not look at home in this dance. So we want to have that feeling of roundedness because again, of what my, my body is doing here. So the arms, as we spoke up with the breathing, are an extension of the body. So one more time, that Spanish line. So let's begin with our right foot. We're gonna go forward, turning to the right, side with the left foot, back on the right foot. Now we keep our feet in place. We lift the right arm up and over, and then the body continues to rotate. The arm comes through. We're gonna go forward on the left foot, forward on the left, side with the right, back with the left, contracting here slightly pushing forward and upwards, and then around, repeat, forward, side, back, up, forward, side, back, more dynamic, push, 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 and one, two, three, four. Hopefully that gives you something to practice, something you can enjoy. Thanks so much for my class today, and I look forward to seeing you for week four, we put everything together and adding some more styling and dynamics for this dance. Thank you.